Assalamualaikum. Good morning to all. Welcome back to our our yes biology class. My dears, how was your Onam holidays? Did you enjoy? Yes. Okay. Very good. Last class we started a new lesson. Yes. Nutrition in animals. And we studied, yes, different ways of taking food. Then we studied about digestion. Then we studied which are the organs related to human digestive system. After that, we discussed, yes, different types of teeth. Right. Okay. Dear children, which are the different ways of taking food in animals? Can you say? Yes, very good. Yeah, like sucking, swallowing, capturing, siphoning, sponging, etc. Very good. Tell me, what is meant by digestion? What is meant by digestion? Yes, very good. Yes, the process of converting complex food materials into simpler absorbable forms are called digestion. Very good. Let me repeat the, the process of converting complex food materials into simpler absorbable forms. Right. Okay. Dears, Tell me, which are the organs related to human digestive system? Yes, very good. Mouth or buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and annuals. In addition to these organs, yes, there are some glands also related to digestion. They are salivary glands, liver and pancreas. Understood? Okay. Tell me which are the four types of teeth present in our mouth? Yes, very good. Incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Let me repeat. All of you listen here. Yes. Incisors, Canines, premolars and molars. Okay, I hope all of you studied these areas. Yes or no? Yes, very good. Dears, today we are going to learn about digestion in humans. Today we are going to study digestion in humans. As you all know, we take food into our body through the, through the, yes, mouth, through the mouth. The process of taking food into our mouth is called a ingestion. The process of taking food into our body through the mouth is called a ingestion. There are teeth present in our mouth. They help to chew our food. Right? Yes. The teeth help us to chew the food. Tongue help us to taste. Right? Yes. Tongue help us to taste. Here, you all know, my dears, there are tiny bum like stretches present on the surface of our tongue. They are called taste buds. They are called a taste buds. The tiny bum like structures present in our tongue are called taste buds. Okay, these taste buds, yes, help us to understand different tastes. Okay, my dears, look at this picture. What you can see here? Yes, the picture of tongue. Here you can see some areas are sensitive towards some taste. Clear? Ok. 
Okay. Listen here. The front part of our tongue is sensitive towards sweet taste. The front part of our tongue is sensitive towards sweet taste. See after that. Yes. The region are sensitive to yes salt taste okay <clears throat> then yes behind yes salt taste then back portion of our tongue is sensitive is sensitive for bitter taste clear once again listen here yes front portion sweet yes behind that salt then Yes. So then back region is yes for bitter. Clear. Okay. Taste buds helps to understand different taste. Clear. Okay, my dears. Then I told you that there are some glands also related to digestion. Yes, salivary glands. Yes. Salivary glands present in our mouth, uh, yeah, play an important role in the digestion. They secrete saliva. They secrete, yes, saliva. Yes, this saliva mixes with our food. The saliva mixes with our food. Okay, then the saliva converts starts into sugar. My dears, the saliva, yes, secreted by salivary glands, convert starts into sugar. Okay, starts into sugar. There are three pairs of salivary gland present in our mouth. There are three pairs of salivary glands present in our mouth. Now, you have understood the chemistry behind the sweet taste. Why chewing rice for a long time without adding curry? Right. Okay. What's the chemistry? Yes. The saliva converts. Yeah. Saliva converts the starch into sugar. My dears. To understand this chemistry, we are going to do one experiment. Do you like experiments? Yes? Okay. Listen here all of you. Dears, in the last year, yes, in the sixth standard, you studied about starch test. Do you remember it now? Yes. What is starch test? How can we conduct? My dears, how can we understand the presence of starch in the given food item? Yes, by the iodine test. Right, by the iodine test. Lay. Yes, we have to take some food items and add one or two drops of iodine solution. Then deep, yes, dark blue color indicates the presence of Starts in the given food item. I told you that the saliva converts the starch into sugars. Okay. The saliva converts starch into sugars. Let's listen.
Yes, I told you that saliva converts the starch into sugar. So we can say digestion starts from the mouth itself. Do you agree? Yes, digestion starts from the mouth itself. My dears, I hope all of you understood the chemistry behind the sweet taste while chewing the food more times in our mouth. Yes, what is the chemistry? Yes, saliva converts starch into sugar. Okay, let's wind up the session. Which are the important points we discussed today? Yes, my dears. Today we studied the role of saliva in digestion. Role of saliva in digestion. My dears, I told you that saliva converts starch into sugar. So we can say digestion starts from the mouth itself. Digestion starts from the mouth itself. Hope all of you understood the session. That's all today. Have a nice day. Hope to see you in the next class with the remaining points. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.